Mr. Forrest? Present. Mr. Engrafia? Here. Mr. Joseph? Present. Mr. Bruno? Yes. Mr. Ridgedal? Here. Mr. Here. Mr. Here. Here. Ms. Hyde? Here. Ms. Coates? Thank you. Let's take a moment. Rep, approval of pay increase. Yes, he's moving one of the uh, persons from $12 an hour. He got a promotion to $13 per hour. So moved. <laughs> Motion by Mr. Bruno, seconded by. Mrs. Hyde, roll call, please. Who that, Mr. Mayor? Yes. Moved by Mr. Mayor. Second here. Second by Mr. V.I. Roll call, please. Yes. Mr. Bruno? Yes. Mr. Regdal? Yes. Mr. Mayhew? Yes. Mr. Wells? Yes. Mr. V.I.? Yes. Ms. Hyde? Yes. Ms. Coates? Yes. Mr. Forrest? Yes. Mr. Engrafia? Yes. Motion passes. Item three, ratification of approval of full-time position. Yes, sir. S same thing with that. The chief did submit all of the paper necessary paperwork. <coughs> And it is one full-time position at $12 per hour. I'll entertain a motion to accept. So move. Mr. Vial. Seconded by. Second. Second. Ms. Hyde, roll call, please. Mr. Bruno? Yes. Mr. Regdal? Yes. Mr. Mayhew? Yes. Mr. Wells? Yes. Mr. Vial? Yes. Ms. Hyde? Yes. Ms. Coates? Yes. Mr. Forrest? Yes. Mr. Engrafia? Yes. Mr. Joseph? Yes. That motion passes, and it's so ordered. Wilma Fire Matters, ratification of approval of pay increase. Yes, sir, the same thing with this. The, the uh, person was able to obtain his Firefighter 1 certification, mm -hmm. so he is getting a, a, a raise in his uh, pay increase from $10 an hour to $11 per hour. So moved, Mr. Chairman. Motion Second. by Mr. Forrest. Second. Second by Mr. Graff, your work up, please. Mr. Rachel? Yes. Mr. Mayhew? Yes. Mr. Wells? Yes. Mr. Vial? Yes. Ms. Hyde? Yes. Ms. Coates? Yes. Mr. Forrest? Yes. Mr. Engrafia? Yes. Mr. Joseph? Yes. Mr. Bruno? Yes. Okay, uh, eight ward primaries. Ratification of approval of full time position. Uh, yes, the chief it, it submitted all, all the necessary paperwork on this. Uh, and it is one full-time position at 10.51 per hour. I'll let's hand a motion. So move. My, by Mr. Vial. Second. Second by Mrs. Hyde. Roll call, please. Mr. Mayhew. Yes. Mr. Wells. Yes. Mr. Vial. Yes. Ms. Hyde. Yes. Ms. Coates. Yes. Mr. Forrest. Yes. Mr. Engrafia. Yes. Mr. Joseph. Yes. Mr. Bruno. Yes. Mr. Edgel. Yes. That motion passes and it is so ordered. Um, surplus equipment. Item six. Yes, sir. Uh, they submitted a uh, property disposal form. It is 54 air bottles that they are wanting to dispose of. They are past the shelf life on these uh, these air bottles, and they are going to be going to scrap. Who is that? Doing? Eighth Ward. I so move. Motion by Mr. Bruno. Second here. Second by Mr. Vial. Roll call, please. Mr. Wells. Yes. Mr. Vial. Yes. Ms. Hyde? Yes. Ms. Coates? Yes. Mr. Forrest? Yes. Mr. Engrafia? Yes. Mr. Joseph? Yes. Mr. Bruno? Yes. Mr. Reginald? Yes. Mr. Mayhew? Yes. That motion passes and it's so ordered. Hustle Fire Matters, ratification of approval of part time positions. Uh, again, uh, it's the same thing with this. The chief submitted all of the necessary paperwork. It is two positions at $10 per hour. So moved. Motion by Mr. Forrest. I made a motion. By Mr. Engrafia. Second. Second by Mr. Forrest. Roll call, please. Mr. Vial. Yes. Ms. Hyde. 
Yes. Ms. Coates? Yes. Mr. Forrest? Yes. Mr. Ngafia? Yes. Mr. Joseph? Yes. Mr. Bruno? Yes. Mr. Reginald? Yes. Mr. Mayhew? Yes. Mr. Wells? Yes. Motion passing is so ordered. Is Laura still here? She is. I'm going to ask Laura to step up to the podium as well. Uh, Ms. Harbin and Farm Matters, approval to participate in Tangipi District 2 audit. So the, the, the chief sent a letter dated February 7th uh, asking to be included in our parish audit. You know, for, the, for, the, for years of, you know, that we've been here, uh, Natalbody has always gone out on their own to do their own, their own audit. So now he is asking to, to come in and do, be included in the parish audit. Uh, Laura Gray is our auditor. Uh, so this is a time for Laura to come in and, and uh, for her to, 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 to bring in the Talbany, uh, we did discuss it and it's, for her fee, it's not to exceed $3,500. And, and the reason being, it, it's being that it's new, it's gonna be some, some things that she's gonna have to look at and, and Laura can explain better than, than what needs to be uh, but it is at a, a fee not to exceed $3,500. Let's hear from Laura. Joseph, I'd like, Question. To make, I'd like to make that motion, but I want to make a comment. I think that's an example of a positive impact that Donnie's made since he's been fire chief. I, think this, I think this is a long time coming, and uh, I no, we thank commend him you on doing this, Donnie. Yeah. We thank, thank him for doing that. Okay. Laura? Um, so... Um, <coughs> We had entered into a multi-year agreement back on October 26, 2020, which included the 19 <coughs> audit, I'm sorry, the 20 audit, the 21 audit, and the 22. And the original engagement letter only included the eight volunteers. And that engagement letter was approved and submitted to the legislative auditor. So what um, I have here, and y'all will have to uh, pass it and agree it, this is amendment number one to the originally adopted engagement letter from October 26, where it states, and I'm just gonna read the first paragraph. It says, you have requested that I amend my original engagement letter dated October 26, 2020, to now include in my audit a ninth discreetly presented component unit, Natalbany Volunteer Fire Department, Inc., for the years ending December 31st, 2021, in 2022 and then I say I agree to this request my fee for the additional services will be billed at my regular per diem rates not to exceed thirty five hundred dollars per audit year in the initial year I have to meet with the predecessor auditor look through their work papers and then um, I've already met and talked to Dennis James his office um, it's not a um, a big deal you know we they prepare the actual audit the type document that I audit <clears throat> so now they'll be including their numbers in the audited figures a little formatting but uh, we always work very well together this has been a great collaboration between our firms so um, this was what y'all had requested of me I've met the new chief tonight I think it will be a positive going forward and um, so that um, I'm asking because I have to notify the legislative auditor, so I will submit this amendment to them so that in their system, <coughs> they'll now know that Natal Benny's going to be with y'all and not look for a separate audit. Okay, so any that's questions about for Natal Benny. Any questions for Laura? So we're going to have to vote on uh, uh, accepting that amendment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No questions? Okay, can we... I'll entertain motion. I so move. Mr. Richter made the motion. Second. Mr. May, you made the second. Roll call, please. Ms. Hyde? Yes. <coughs> Ms. Coates? Yes. Mr. Forrest? Yes. Mr. Ingrafia? Yes. Mr. Joseph? Yes. Mr. Bruno? Yes. Mr. Ridgel? Yes. Mr. Mayhew? Yes. Mr. Wells? Yes. Mr. Vial? Yes. Motion passed and it's so uh, you're gonna need my signature on this. Yes, sir. Okay. Mr. You need it now, Mr. Okay. Joseph. If uh, you know, we had we had the uh, amendment to the audit contract done at the bottom or the, in other fire matters. So we wanted to bring this up while we're discussing the Talbany, and Laura can go ahead and finish with what she's got to do to go ahead and since she's already up here. Is that okay if I jump the line on the rest sure. of the information? Yeah. 
So just wanted to remind you, um, some of y'all remember the statewide agreed upon procedures, you know, the state legislature a couple of years ago, they came back and said some audit firms weren't doing a sufficient job. So they came up with these procedures. So uh, the last year we didn't have them and the year before that you didn't have them because uh, there were no exceptions for fire. So again, this was a multi-year agreement. My original engagement letter with y'all did not include the AUPs, and AUPs would always be an extra uh, service, and it's not considered an audit, so there is a different engagement letter. So the legislative auditor has brought back all the procedures, and they have said for this year, 21, all the procedures have to be redone. But it's already work that I'm already doing, in my normal course of my audit, there are a few extra steps, but fortunately for you, you're not a very large organization. There are two new steps that we haven't looked at in the past, but they shouldn't be too time consuming. So um, I have the engagement letters for the AUPs for the year 21 and 22, and the fee range is between two and $3,000. Um, again, your auditor is the firm that has to do the AUPs. And um, so the first year we have to do all the procedures over again. If there's no exceptions, then next year we don't have to do them. And we only would have to do the ones that had an exception. Like for an example is, <coughs> read the minutes. Did they have 12 meetings and did they have a quorum? And then the answer is, I observed all 12 monthly meetings and they had a quorum. That's not an exception. So next time I don't have to look at minutes. Mm -hmm. So it's things like that. But they do have like payroll. But guess what? We have two people, not 300. So we gotta look at two. So that's the AUPs. I just wanted to bring that attention to your matter. That's not actually something that you have to vote on. But Mr. Um, Wells, we'll have to sign the, uh, I'm sorry, Joseph. Mr. Mr. Joseph. Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> Been a long day. We'll have to sign the engagement letter. It's just, you don't get a choice on this, okay? okay. But the other thing is, real quick, I had handed these letters out to all of y'all just a second ago. Um, this is called the governance letter. It's a letter from me to you. The board is charged with governance. Y'all set the policies, you oversee fire district number two, and it basically spells out my responsibility as the auditor and what I'm supposed to do. But then it also spells out your responsibility as the board. And one of it is, if there's an issue or a problem, you should come to me now. Don't come to me after the audit and say, oh, did you look at this? Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't know. So we do try to interview some of y'all. We rotate it during the year. But if you have a true concern, you should talk to me about it now. And on the last page, I have given you my email address. I've given you my cell phone number. But I also give you the other young lady. She's an accountant with my firm. Uh, her information. If there's anything that ever comes up, I can meet with you privately. We can um, just talk if you don't want to talk on the phone. But again, that's part of your responsibility as oversight. And at the end, we will have another meeting where I say, hey, these are the things that I found, these are the serious, or these aren't that serious. So this is just to let you know I'm fixing to kick it off. And then we will be done um, by your meeting in <coughs> June. I should be back here to present to y'all. Okay, any questions, comment, hot burn? <laughs> None, thank you, Laura. Okay, these are the documents I just signed. You get two more. Okay. I'll get them later. Oh, good, good, good. Okay. Uh, Dennis, hold up a second. Not you, Laura. Buddy, you seem really passionate about what you said about Donnie, and um, I can hear it in your voice. So, Dennis, as a result of that, I'm going to ask you to uh, send a nice letter of commendation to Chief Stark and put it in his official Absolutely. press name. Okay, let's go. Look, on that note, look, you know, Donnie ha has been uh, constantly in, uh, up, keeping me abreast of the mm -hmm. changes that he's presenting through his department. And uh, I, I think it's going to be, a, a like, like Mr. Rizzo said, it's a positive movement. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds uh, good. 
He's been calling me. I don't know if he's been talking to you, buddy, but he's been calling me every time. Yes, he does. And I've been knowing Donnie since he was a kid <laughs> and raised with his daddy, a uh, good family. And look, I love to talk to him. You know? He moved out of my district, but that's okay. Huh? Yeah. That's okay. okay, guys. Good job, Donnie. <laughs> Laranja Five Matters. All right. Uh, same thing with this. The, the chief did submit. It, it, he was trying to expedite getting his paperwork in, but he did get his paperwork in on time. Uh, it is one one full-time position at 10.50 per hour. Motion by Mr. Bruno. Second, Second by Mr. Ingraffia. Roll call, please. Ms. Coates. Yes. Mr. Forrest. Yes. Mr. Ingraffia. Yes. Mr. Joseph. Yes. Mr. Bruno. Yes. Mr. Ridgedal. Yes. Mr. Mayhew. Yes. Mr. Wells. Yes. Mr. Vial. Yes. Ms. Hyde. Yes. Motion passes, so ordered. Kentwood, five matters. All right. Uh, Kentwood had, had uh, they, 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 their story. station was struck by lightning December 9th of 21. Uh, it did cause uh, significant damage. Uh, we did file an insurance claim. Uh, so with our deductible, we our, they, what they sent us was $16,595.91. Keep in mind that we have a $5,000 deductible also. Uh, so one of the, the high items, the high end items that needs to be replaced is a transfer switch uh, for their station. Mm -hmm. uh, in your packet, there, there, there is a quote for one at $12,613.19. Uh, I even went as far as trying to see if I can get a, pri a better price. Uh, I did get another quote, it was higher. Sixteen thousand four hundred dollars. Mm. Uh, I did call another company, and I get I got no response back on a quote from that. So, the the in your packet you have the company that it is. It is at twelve thousand six hundred and thirteen dollars and nineteen cents. Uh, they had numerous items that got uh, zapped by, by the, the lightning. That they will be slowly replacing those. But the high end is that transfer switch. I'll make the motion. Motion by Mr. Forrest. Say by Mr. Bruno. Roll call, please. Mr. Forrest. Yes. Mr. Ingraffia. Yes. Yes, the insurance company. Mr. Joseph. Yes. Mr. Bruno. Yes. Mr. Reginald. Yes. Mr. Mayhew. Yes. Mr. Wells. Yes. Mr. Vial. Yes. Ms. Hyde. Yes. Ms. Coates. Yes. Motion passes. So ordered. Monthly reports and registers. Y'all should have been emailed and should be in mm -hmm. your packet. Any questions? Comment, criticism, heartburn, none. Administrative report. All right, so the, the <coughs> been meeting, and I had several meetings with, with Justin, uh, with Bridget, uh, Mr. Bruno, uh, concerning the, the LaRanja fire station. Uh, one of the things we did get completed, it did get surveyed, so we do have, you know, the, the, the survey was done. Uh, I just, we did get a quote uh, on, demolishing what's there uh, and that was submitted to the insurance company to go ahead and reimburse us for that. Uh, the, the other little portable building that we put up there, I am waiting to, you know, we're going to uh, repair that building. Uh, we're, so I'm waiting on prices on that to come back to us so we can get that building repaired. It, it, it doesn't make sense to take the building and destroy it. It, it, it could be easily repaired. Uh, so that's, that, that's pretty much on, on the update of the, the stations. We haven't touched, we haven't uh, went back and discussed the man check. You know, the, uh, there's some things that we have to discuss with that. But as far as the, the repairing of the stations, it, it's the main ones is man check, <coughs> LaRanja, and Ponchatoula. We have to revisit that. Uh, one thing I do want to remind y'all of, uh, and I did email y'all uh, last week, or well, the other day, uh, we did get served with a notification of uh, a lawsuit, and that was uh, an, an accident that occurred uh, September 27th of 21 in Natalbany. Uh, so that that was we did get served with that just the other day. I think that was emailed to everyone. Yeah, I did email that to everyone. Okay. Yes. Uh, another thing I wanted to bring up is on February 9th, uh, the the. Hammond Fire Chief was involved in an accident. Uh, it was not his fault, uh, and it, it, did, uh, it did cause significant damage with that. 
So we, th we did talk to our insurance company. The insurance company called me Friday, letting me know that the other person does not have insurance. So we have to file under our uninsured motorists. And uh, <laughs> uh, so we'll be dealing with that. But the truck is already. Well, we'll see. Uh, he, he can sue us, yeah. you know. Absolutely, he can. Uh, so, so Dennis was the chief. Was the chief injured? He was not injured. Uh, in, in, in the remind the other they did. Chief did strike him. That's hey, look whatever we can get. Uh, but just to kind of let y'all know that just well, we just got that notice the well, other day that. Just thank he, God he wasn't hurt. He doesn't have the insurance. Okay. All right, what else you got, Dennis? That's, that's all I have, sir. Move to accept the administrative report. Motion by Mr. Bruno to accept the administrative report and seconded by Mr. Vieira. Roll call. Mr. Ingrafia? Yes. Mr. Joseph? Yes. Mr. Bruno? Yes. Mr. Regidal? Yep. Mr. Mayhew? Yes. Mr. Wells? Yes. Mr. Vial? Yes. Ms. Hyde? Yes. Ms. Coates? Yes. Mr. Forrest? Yes. Motion passes. Dennis, I think we've taken care of 11. Yes, we did. Okay. We, we moved her up. Okay. Uh, Mr. Wells? Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'll move that to adjourn. <laughs> Wait, can I say something first? <laughs> <laughs> Councilman <laughs> Privileges? Yeah, go ahead. He left it all. Uh, I would just um, ask everyone to keep um, George Coxon's daughter in prayer. She was in a bad accident, and so if we can pray while she's recovering. Oh, my um, goodness. I didn't know that. How's she doing? How's she doing? Yeah. Good. Good. Jesus Christ. Wow. Whew. I hope that guy had insurance. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll be praying for both of them. Sorry that happened, George. Anything else? Mr. Wells made the motion. And Mr. Bruno seconded. So this meeting is adjourned, folks.